Hi, this is Fred. We're going to give you an overview of closed captioning in BigBlueButton. So I have set up an example here where there are three users in a session. A teacher, who I'm just moving the slides around, the student and a stenographer. The stenographer is another moderator who's going to come in and do live captioning of the lecture. So to show this works, on one browser I've got the student here, on the other browser I've got the teacher and the stenographer. The way that you get to closed captioning is there's a new entry in Layout Manager called Closed Captioning. For moderators, it brings up a list of languages where they can choose which language to provide captioning. Here I'll choose English. And then I take ownership of it. This means only one moderator is providing captionings at a time. I can then start typing in text, and whatever types in here, any student who looks, looks at or subscribes to the closed captioning screen for English will see it. So the student chooses the layout, closed captioning, chooses English, and now they'll see the live text as it's typed in by whomever is typing into the English stream. And the student has choices in terms of font and layout. Here I'll make it a little bit bigger as well. After this class is done, if it was recorded, the captions will be here as subtitles in the recording. That's an overview of closed captioning in BigBlueButton.